Hey, what is up guys? This is Digging Michigan here, back with another video. So today I bought a uh, box of pennies, and I was going through it, and I found this. And I really need you guys' help on this one, because when I first saw it, it kind of looks like an error to me. Now... I can get it to focus. There. It really doesn't have your normal penny look. Now, take aside from the fact that it's got the zinc showing through, which I believe could have been caused by the error that uh, was made. It has a very different tinge. It has like a bronze more of a tinge it really doesn't look just copper and it's a 1990 <laughs> so I would have like with the 1990 1990s usually have a much different tinge than that they're usually much more shiny and I know that a lot of them are in a worse like bad condition but this one is just odd so if you guys could help me with that it would be really well appreciated. If you have anybody who might know who, what it is, uh, could you maybe tell them about this video or something? Uh, yeah. So, that's just one thing I wanted to show you guys. Probably my most interesting find out of the entire box. I'm not going to show you the Canadian in 1964s as they're downstairs right now. But I found 10 wheat pennies. The oldest one was a 1939, right there. Uh, the old, the youngest sweet penny was a 1958 D. And other than that, we got a 55, a 57. These have mint marks too. The 57 is a D. 55 is a D. That's a 52. 39. That's the 40. That's a 49. It's a 44D. It's a 57. It's a 42. And that's a 58. D. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Yet again, I'll just show this one more time. I really feel like that could be an error. And if it is, that's awesome, because it's my first error coin ever. What I feel like happened was, like, the machine went down too far or something. But I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Could be... Not an error or something. But, give me your guys' opinions in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time.